Oh market baby let's go guys so obviously a crazy weekend we're seeing a, a meme coin mania at the moment it's crazy to see how all the meme coins are flying so yes today we're going to speak about a lot of the meme coins and basically speak about you know is it time to rotate to the next ecosystems i'm seeing an avax wake up at the moment i'm seeing obviously solana push again and i'm seeing a massive uh, phantom ecosystem explosion so the question with memes now is uh, do we shift do we shift to other memes? It's time to start getting out, start loading up the proper projects. You know, we've got to speak about understanding that the meme mania always comes when it's time to get retail into the market. It's the best tool to use to get retail and people into the market. Now we're seeing people flood in really quickly. So the question is, is there a lot more to go with things like Pepe, with Bonk? Uh, we saw Doge pump. I still think Doge has a lot to go. We saw obviously Floki. And if you look at over the last week, insane gains from the meme. Now the question is, you know, was this to bring retail in? Is there a flush coming? Is this going to continue? And let's obviously speak about what are the top 10 tokens I'm looking at for March in order to continue making a lot of the cash. We're seeing a lot of new tokens break trends, which is really nice to see that we're starting to get everything as a whole. And plus, what's very exciting, guys, was remember we spoke about total three and we spoke about is there maybe a pullback on altcoins or are we going full blown, you know, alt season and is the alts really starting to catch up? And if you look at this weekly chart over here on the total three, guys, we popped through the resistance and you look at the next one. Basically showing, you know, up to $200 billion into the, the altcoin market, excluding Bitcoin, excluding Ethereum, um, you know, to, to continue the pump. So every time we've seen coins break these ranges, it shows the doors are open. So the big question is, is there pullback coming or are we just going to continue to pump? And that's obviously the hardest thing with the bull market is we always continue, right? So today I'm going to keep you level-headed and make sure we're still buying good buys. We are taking profits on ones that are overextended. And obviously, let's celebrate Bitcoin breaking the highs, touching the areas of $65,000. Guys, it's a great day. It is a Monday. I'm pumped. Hope you're pumped. Hope you got the coffee ready. You know what? You could even have a beer ready at this time uh, in the bull market. We might always be, we might all be retired and no longer need jobs. Uh, so that's the exciting part. No more wasted time. Let's go. Righty, guys, uh, if you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Let's get the banter plus numbers up. Uh, we're obviously sitting over 700,000 on the main channel. Let's get this all up. So hit the like if you are making money right now. You know, if you're a survivor of the bear that had to go through two years of suffering, you should be up. And please let me know in the comments now, are you finally up? Have you got your head above the waters? And now it's time to obviously rectify you know, a lot of the previous bull market mistakes and staying level-headed, as well as if this is your first cycle, guys. You're with the best community out there. There's a few things you need, though. You need to obviously stay consistent with the shows. You need to understand what the hell I'm talking about. If anyone's talking, you need to understand what that is. And again, we, the first bull market of crypto banter, we went from 70,000 subscribers to 500,000 subscribers. We didn't have school. We didn't have products. We didn't have anything at that time. Now we have made sure that we have an entire ecosystem. If you don't know what I'm saying and you're struggling and you're not putting stop losses on, on specific parts of your accounts, guys, go do Sniper School. Go straight below in the description of the show and go sign up for Sniper School. Let's see if this is lined up over here. Here we go. You will find everything below over here to, to change your whole entire journey. Uh, sign up for Sniper School. You'll find Find the link below. We have something called Sniper Club, which is $100 a month. And if you make $100 from the shows, do not shortcut yourself on one of the best products out there, one of the best teams out there. Let's just bring this over here and show you guys. Um, here we go. Our whole Sniper Club section where we do have signals for you guys. We have all the setups of what I'm seeing broke. I spoke about Gala last week. I spoke about XRP before it broke out. I'm speaking about a few new coins on here as well, which I will speak about in the show, but they got it a lot earlier this morning. Uh, so Sniper Club gives you everything, guys. Um, you know, when it comes to signals, when it comes to airdrops, when it comes to all of these sections, we have, even have a Mama Sniper section over here dropping all of her stuff. And we've got the portfolios here too. So these are all things we've created for you to join. And the last thing I want to show you guys, because it's going to help you a lot within today's show, and I help you a lot with the bull, is obviously banter bubbles, guys. I'm going to be speaking about Phantom, and I'm going to be speaking about the Phantom ecosystem. I think there's a massive Phantom e ecosystem boiling up, uh, a pump incoming. Not only are we seeing Phantom rise up, and we're seeing Phantom up 62%, I'm seeing the ecosystem wake up as well. And what's obviously amazing about banter bubbles is if you click on the filter button over here, you're able to go to these ecosystems systems because what you're starting to realize is when you're seeing a token move a chain move you're seeing a whole bunch of tokens move right you got bonk solana right 
you got all of these things. So these are coins on, on the actual chains. And obviously, meme coins is the big one. So if you're starting to see a Cosmos breakout and you're starting to see a AVAX breakout and a, and a Phantom breakout, start looking at the same sort of formulas of what you saw in the other chains where you saw the meme tokens blow up on these. Just start shifting and start moving. So this over here, if you click on that filter button, you can go over here and you can go see the direct tokens under that ecosystem, which is absolutely incredible. There's the Cosmos one. Go pay attention. There's the AVAX one. Pay attention. There's the Phantom ecosystem over here. And you can start to see. We're going to be speaking a little bit about this one over here today as well. Uh, I'm not speaking too many memes, but there's a meme here that that's bringing a little bit of my attention over here called Any Inu. Um, this coming up, so you can see all of these tokens. We also got Curve. I want to speak about these today as well. So this tool will help you guys a lot. Again, you have everything. You have education. You have coaches and a, and, and a, a product that can help you with the community. And you have the tech and the tools that you need. Now it's time to obviously explode it and make a lot of cash. So the first thing I wanted to quickly look at before we jump into the charts is obviously we entering uh, extreme greed so what this is is this is where we are getting to a point where everything's extending really quickly doesn't mean it's going to stop but it does mean there's a couple of traps right uh there will be 20 30 percent liquidation wicks we saw one last week um and whenever you're seeing that greed go crazy uh, it's a point of leverage trades take a bit of profits or tighten the hell up on stop losses very very simple there will be wicks especially bitcoin approaching all-time highs are we going to stop and maybe have a pullback before we break the all-time highs, are we going to explode through? And when you see in the extreme uh, greed areas over here, it is indicating just be careful for that. So be aware of that. Doesn't mean we're going to stop, but there might be a trap, which is obviously a great point of adding to your positions when you see that 20, 30% wick. Um, and plus, if we're going to trigger true alt season, we do need that wick. We do need that dominance to turn down. That's still moving strong. So have uh, a nice understanding that we are in a little bit of extreme greed. So it might need a little flush out because what this means is obviously leverage is going through the roof. And I looked at a few things as liquidation maps. There's not much on the upside. There's not much on the upside over here. People are afraid to short the market right now. Obviously, the bulls are hurting quite a lot of people right now. Anyone that's shorting. But there is a massive, massive, massive amount of a pool sitting around sixty-one to $62,000. So that's another possible little wick area if that happens. Don't be afraid of them. Just understand that now starting, you know, guys, I know it's, it's, it's really hard to take profits. But taking 10, 20 30% profits is going to play a massive role for you on it, guys, because now that you're seeing that there's a little bit of leverage, you know, sitting 20% lower, we're obviously getting to the high points, you know, taking at least your initial capital back or the 10, 20% on crazy gains that you've made gives you that cash that you can put some limits orders in on some tokens because work it out, work it out if 20% 20, 20 drop on Bitcoin, work out a 20% drop on your favorite alts, put a few limits orders in and you may scoop up some really good buys that were going to profit instantly. The moment we dip off and we bounce straight back up, you know, use that to your advantage. So don't be afraid to, you need to get out of the market. And here's another little, little hint as well. If you want to take profits, just take profits into Bitcoin. Like that, that's a really big one right now because you're not sure, right? Because if Bitcoin breaks all time high, guess what's going to happen? Dominance is going to go up and Bitcoin's going to have all the focus, right? It is. You're going to see some altcoin pops, but Bitcoin's going to go. So when you're at this critical area by jumping into, you know, some of your profits into Bitcoin, firstly, you're banking some Bitcoin. Very, very good job to do. You know what I want us to do? I don't want us to even get into USDT in this market. I want us to get into Bitcoin and altcoins, Bitcoin and altcoins, because the moment you get into USDT is when it's, you know, why we want to get into a crappy currency. So jumping into that best scenario, market keeps continues to pump off. Best scenario as well, the other scenario is the market dumps. What's going to hold the best? Bitcoin. Very simple. So take profits and don't get out of the market, but get into safer assets. And I'm talking 10, 20, 30%. Just start getting used to it because you're going to need these tools along the whole journey. So there is a little bit of liquidations sitting over there. Okay, let's jump into uh obviously the market at the moment so bitcoin again has broken out a little wedge so we had a little trend over here we sat nicely the question was where were, where were we going to end uh on the weekly close we obviously ended very strong and going into the weekly close we obviously broke out the trend you know uh 24 hours ago and now it's broken the high so again when it comes to the highs on bitcoin the next target's all-time high what are we sitting we're sitting around uh five percent <laughs> Maybe 24 hours, 48 hours from now, we're in all-time high territory. And then, then 
the job starts. If you think this was good, um, when things are in all time high and you don't know where they're going, that's where it gets really crazy. So that can happen at any moment now. Um, I don't see much pull offs. Remember, every time Bitcoin breaks a previous high, that now becomes support. So basically, you know, last week's uh, support was 52,000 of Bitcoin. Now it's 60,000. So again, any fast dips, that's probably the, the strong bounce area. Remember, the bulls are starting to take control, like heavy control again of the markets. So what they're going to do is they're going to protect levels. Every time they break through a previous level, they're going to want to protect that level. So it gives you a little bit of an idea that if there's little quick rejections, you know, more or less the major supports right now are sitting around 60,000 on Bitcoin. Um, and the doors are open. The doors are open to the areas of, uh, you know, 69,000. Now, let's have a quick discussion. The quick discussion is obviously, you know, where's the next target if Bitcoin breaks all-time high? And the only thing that we're going to be able to do here, guys, is to obviously use the tools that we got. Um, the first thing is obviously tracking momentum. So momentum, we're still well above there um, for a while. So that's the main problem. Prob um, the problem, what am I trying to say? Oh, prob 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 that one. Um, you know, that's the main line that we're probably going to hold for majority of the bull for as long as Bitcoin is currently on this rally. It will hold that momentum over there. So that's a nice line to put in and not be afraid, you know, to keep buying dips and, uh, you know, opening the doors to lots of upside as long as we hold that trend. And we're very far from that. So that's strong. The next thing is obviously looking at a few firms that work a lot within altcoins, especially ones that have been breaking all time highs and looking at where are the next major fib targets and it's quite crazy where these targets actually are this is indicating that if we break through the highs and remember this happened with injective and i'll show you guys injective in a second um because we need to know right there's tools you know if we just break all-time highs where the hell are we going and yeah you could see with injective the moment it broke all-time high which was 24 um it started to obviously rampage through and uh, we got to a very important area called the 1618 and this is on the high time frame view so the timing is always going to be the top of how long it's going to go. Obviously, the market's moving a lot quicker than what we anticipated before halving, all of these sort of things. But if you look at the, the formula of where it is, the 1618 on Bitcoin sounds crazy, but it's $100,000. $100,000 is the 1.618. So for me, before I think anywhere above that, that's sort of the game plan of what I'm thinking at. I'm thinking that we start to expand this and I'm not thinking much more above 100K, which then starts to give me an understanding of how to start looking at my altcoins, right? If I'm going to start valuing Bitcoin and possibly getting to 100K, remember, I'm going to have little trends in. I'm going to have a couple things, you know, to help me indicate that target and to know if we're going to short, uh, maybe come slightly short or things like that. But right now, that's the game plan. The game plan is 100K sort of areas over there. And then I can start repeating this formula on a lot of the alts that are starting to break the similar ranges. And that's the game plan for now. If later on we break that, we decide to go into the crazy levels, then we start shifting slightly. But right now it's one step at a time, getting rich one step at a time and staying focused to that. So that's my that's my, my call right now, $100,000 Bitcoin. Uh, we'll see how quick it goes. Maybe it decides to do this. If it decides to do this, the last all-time high break we went through um, and we obviously doubled the all-time high, previous high over there in a matter of five weeks after breaking all-time highs. So that's obviously crazy. So who knows? Maybe maybe we're sitting in the next uh, you know two months with maybe Bitcoin setting up at the areas of 100K. So that that's sort of the idea for now. Okay, uh, we have the dominance obviously still going up. So alt season, true alt season hasn't started just yet. When will alt season probably start? Realistically, the real alt season of where I'm talking about, you know, this is nice, you know, seeing these massive gains over here. But when you see them on uh, the entire altcoin market is when, when it gets really interesting. So if you obviously look at the last week, when you're seeing a lot of the alts, you know, pulling these sort of numbers over here, right now you got the memes, you got specific narratives going. Um, but alt season, the true one is not there just yet. Um, that's obviously when this dominance comes down. And that's very likely once Bitcoin is through all time high and it's hit the temporary top after that. So I wouldn't be surprised. And this is just my thoughts as it stands right now. The true alt season starts when Bitcoin approaches, you know, maybe the 80, 90, 100K sort of area. And then we have the true push. And that will come when you start to see things like ETH creep up so you got eth right at resistance right now as it stands so hopefully soon 
you know, we got to expect that Bitcoin still has to get through all time highs first, guys. That's the major target over here. We got to get through all time highs first. Otherwise, there is a pullback to 60K, maybe slightly lower than that. It's a buying dip, by the way. Um, but as it stands right now, if we do obviously decide to break through in the next day or two. You know, ETH will finally get through 3.5 and then you'll get a wake up from ETH. And that the next targets are $4,500 over there for ETH. Um, and obviously, ETH to Bitcoin is still getting sucked. So I still know it's still not true LTs and just yet, which means there's time. Does it mean you you fly into everything now? No, it does mean that there will be slight red days in between, but you haven't missed the true alt pump yet, which is really good, which is really good and still gives you that breather, especially if you're entering the market now and coming off of the FOMO of memes and that um, over there. So let's speak about a few tokens, guys. So I'm going to start off with Phantom. Phantom, one of my favorites, coming to a retest zone now. Finally, we nailed it. I want to show you guys this over here. I've opened up uh, those same margin accounts that I was running previously. So I'm currently $580,000 long in two tokens or three tokens, Okay, maybe four, um, which is Doge. I'm still running the Doge position. I'll speak about that in a sec. Phantom. So this one will, in the next, I would say, week or two, will start becoming my top position in this portfolio over here as I'm seeing a major push. Why am I bullish on Phantom? Because it finally broke the, the range. So Phantom hasn't seen this these prices since uh, May 2022. So it's repeating the same cycle as previously. Um, so what I'm seeing here is two little load up zones for Phantom. We obviously caught it last week. We caught it over here. You should be around 50% up on the calls that we gave, you know, two, three, four days ago. But there is little, little touch up uh, areas over here. There's a little area where we're hitting right now. So the mid 60 cents, a little top up. And then there is a possibility of a little rejection on Bitcoin, which will give you around 55 cents. Guys, after that, I'm seeing a pump to two areas. Obviously, if we the longer we hold under the all-time highs on Bitcoin, I'm seeing one dollar to one dollar twenty uh, as the the midterm sort of push on Phantom. Um, but obviously, Bitcoin goes to all-time highs. I am seeing one point five, and I am seeing two dollars. Make sure you are following me on Twitter, guys. I did send this through yesterday, and I did speak about you know a couple of things on Phantom as well. I even gave the little hint a couple of days back. Uh, I was earlier on Sniper Club, by the way. But here we go. FTM pump will blow minds, um, and this was when I was sitting around you know forty two cents, and I started to. Wake up really quickly and i saw um miles did jump on and also pop a little comment here saying is he being a bit conservative because he's saying it to one dollars uh, i said i'm thinking around 1.4 to two dollars as it stands at the moment so guys i still think there's a massive push for phantom um at the moment and i still think it's good here to top up a little bit have a little bit in case it's a little wick but i think phantom's gonna explode and i still think you you're forming under the earlier parts when i joined the last cycle guys a lot of coins are already in these areas over here i get to ride these bad boys with the bottom over here for you so i'm excited for that um so this is is phantom now with phantom start looking at a couple ecosystem coins so the one i would do want to bring up which doesn't have too much that i don't think it's on exchange yet uh is that uh that meme token so guys me personally i'm not trading the memes too much um being reason being is i worked really hard in the bear market to accumulate a lot of dollars and to accumulate bigger positions so i'm playing the safer bet you know i'm not going for a 50x this this bull market i'm actually going from a 10x from where i am now and i can semi-retire so that for me is my is my main goal. So I'm paying attention to you know the Solanas, the Dojas, the, the little bit of the older coins. By the way, let me get dressed for the occasion. Um, so a little bit more of the older coins, which I'll put on over here. It's not that I'm getting old. It's just I know where I'm at portfolio wise. <laughs> this actually looks uh, pretty good, eh? Uh, portfolio wise, and uh, that's my game plan. If you're starting on a smaller wallet, yeah, you have to be a bit more risky and play the games. Um, but it all depends where you're at, guys. So for me. Um, you know, I'm not going too much in them, but let, let's go through a few of them as it definitely is the big talking point and the big pushing point. So the one that I'm looking and it's a bit smaller is this one over here called any Inu. OK, so this one's just got it going and it's not too bad market cap wise. So I obviously don't want to go too small when it comes to the market caps on these tokens, because there's so many of them. And yeah, you may catch a, a little popcorn effect, but it's a little bit more gambling when you're going to the very small amounts. This thing is getting at the moment good decent 24 hour volume starting to pick up really quickly has had a nice little push so it's had 400 percent in the last week so it sounds like a, a lot and up to 80 percent but the, the cap is a lot smaller uh the market cap and we've obviously seen you know if you're looking at things like um bonk and then now what's their market caps right now they're in the billions right and this one yeah you're sitting around 40 million so for me a small bet probably around if i want to enter you know say again 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but if I'm looking at entering, you know, $10,000 into a couple of Phantom Ecosystem coins, you know, this will fall under 5% sort of range of it. Um, but this one looks pretty good um, over here. And we have done a bit of research on it as well. So I think this one can be a massive one. So keep eyes on it. Uh, me personally, will buy a little bit of it. Um, but I'm giving this awareness of you guys over here. If you are interested in some meme tokens on that, I would be moving narratives. To be honest, if I had a Pepe pump and I've made shit tons of money or dog with hats and all these sort of things, you know, I would at least bank 50% of the profits leave the rest for the bull market. Maybe it makes you even more richer and I'll start shifting slightly. Bank a little bit to spend on yourself or to, to pay some things off, uh, Sheldon Holmes. <laughs> um, so here's one over here, which is looking pretty good. Then there's a few other tokens, a little bit of older tokens, but ones that I'm seeing break of a couple of good ranges. And the one over here, and I spoke about it with the team this morning, is called Spooky Swap. So this has been through for a while. This chart looks amazing for me. Now that I'm seeing Phantom move, this is one of the, be the, the better projects or the good projects on Phantom. Um, Spooky swap, and this has just broken early range. So I've showed you guys the, the method, right? The method of catching these early pumps and catching these major, you know, sort of runs. Um, it all comes down to the first weekly higher high, the retest and the explosion point. So we've seen this on many tokens. We even saw it play out perfectly on Phantom. And this one's imprinting that over there too. So I have a few targets over here of where this can extend to, you know, shorter time frame to make some money off this token. You know, I'm looking at my first target to three to four dollars. So Pretty big from where we are right now. And then there is higher targets if it breaks that range. And you can see here, I'm not getting tokens that are, they are just coming out of the bottom range, right? I do have $6 and I got $11 as these targets. So Spooky Swap is one of them that I'm ta personally taking a bet in uh, for the month. Uh, we've got a few other ones. You've got things like Spell. You can go do some research, but Spell's obviously waking up. And uh, if it gets, there's two areas here. There's a little dip off, which is around about 10% lower of where we are now. But when it gets through this top of the range, look at this interest. Look at this over here. There's a massive push up over here that can be up to 100, 150%. So all of these little plays over here, obviously me, I'd be majority in Phantom. But 30% I'll be playing with within the ecosystem. And these tokens will explode too. So these are also looking good. There's other ones as well as in Spirit. Swap, this one's looking pretty good. Got a little bit of a nice weekly candle there next week. Guys, I wouldn't go too much into these. But again, these can be the big movers, right? These are higher, higher risk, higher reward tokens. Uh, if you're looking at a one to two X on Phantom, you know, you're looking at three to five Xs on some of these tokens too. Um, there's another one as well. If you are in favor of, um, of Anchor, Anchor obviously went through a lot in the past and looking really good. So Anchor as well has a bit of time before the, the five, six cent break. But I'm looking at up to 10 cents within this play over here too. So there's a few of these tokens pay attention to. Um, and these are the ones that I am moving to now at the moment. Then there's another two plays as well that I'm focusing on. So obviously, I think there's another massive Solana pump coming. So by the way, I'm still uh, trading two tokens on my leverage account. Let's bring them up quickly. So it's this one over here where I'm currently in a long on Solana and I'm on an ETH long. Not going too much. I'm probably in the region of around, uh, you know, if I look at the percentages here, probably around 250K uh, position sizing over here at the moment on these two. So Sol is one that I think another pump is going to happen very soon. Not only did it break out of that wedge that we spoke about last week, once it gets through the highs here at 140, you know, I'm seeing us go to $200 plus. So Sol, again, it's a little bit expensive as investment entries. Um, but I know a lot of people are still holding Sol. I'll still be holding strong. And again, I'll be paying attention to a couple Sol ecosystem tokens as I'm still seeing the, 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 the push over there. Then I do think jumping to things like AVAX and looking at memes on AVAX is a good idea. Um, again, risk to reward, guys. Don't put too much money into these things. You know, play more money in the actual chains itself uh, and then play around. I don't want you to deny money that's out there and just move to ecosystems. But here's the, the break right now, guys. The weekly break, the one I spoke about uh, last week. There's the break of the wedge. There's the retest. I'm seeing AVAX make its way now up to the highs. And then once it's through that, I am seeing an AVAX position that can run up to $90 to $100. So therefore, start paying attention to the, the, the AVAX ecosystem as well. So AVAX for me is still in entries at the moment. Still in entries to load up for the bull market push to the upside. So that's obviously looking really good. The one I want to make sure we are in is obviously Aptos. So I hope you guys are in Aptos from last week. I'll still add slightly more before this thing gets above 1415. So I'll show you guys again on Deepcoin. Deepcoin, I still have the position. So let's load them up. 
I'll get that loaded up over there quickly. There we go. So I still got my my Aave longs. So you can see here, they're 5Xs, 3Xs. I'm not going too much within uh, within leverage. But here we go. There's my Aptos long over there. It's currently 68% up at the moment. So I'm loaded up on that. Yes, we'll speak about Ape as well and uh, Aave. Um, but uh, Aptos, I still think is one of the top performers of uh, March. So that one uh, is looking really good. Let's speak about Ape. I still think the Ape run is going to happen. So I got a little bit of resistance here at this 2.5. Um, but once it gets that and through $3, you know, you're looking at a $6 range. So I still think Ape is a little bit of a, of a dollar costing sort of area. The next token, guys, and this also falls a bit under Phantom, right, is Curve. Yeah. So I see a massive Curve explosion coming. Uh, again, you're early. You're not uh, top of the range. I'm not getting into late, late, late coins over here. You're playing the cycle. You're playing it right. Once it gets through this higher, guys, I'm seeing this go to 1.2, if not 1.5. So Curve, I think it's about to hit a, a strong run. They obviously went through a lot, which creates the cheapness. It started ranging at the low. When I see a token's holding the lows at the bottom of the range and getting strong bounces here and then indicating, this one's one of the earliest ones I bring in you guys, which just about to break weekly push over here. Uh, curve push to the upside. So Curve is also looking really good. Guys, if again, you're sitting on 50 tokens in your portfolio, if you've made hundreds of percents on some of them, Start banking at least 50% of them and start moving, right? Start moving, start playing the game. So don't don't just add coins, 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 coins. You know, start removing some, adding, taking profits on some, these sort of things. So Curve is one of my next bets over here for uh, a massive month um, as it comes. Uh, again, weekly break, range high. If it breaks range high, you know, this thing can obviously go up to $3. But for now, as it stands, looks really good. We've got a couple of these tokens, which I'll go through. Um, these are not ones that I'm saying are going to be the, the March coins yet, but I'll go through them for you quickly. So I'll go about a break weekly. Again, this should range up to around the, the mid 40s. So I'll go looks like it's good. Uh, Kajira, there's still time at the moment. Once this gets through, you know, at some point I'm seeing a push. Uh, I would, however, prepare for 10, 20 percent dips on some of these tokens to load up some more. Uh, we're obviously seeing Matic very close to the weekly break. So hoping to see that at 1.5 pretty soon. Um, this is one of my other calls, guys, for the month is uh, Chainlink. I still think it's a it's a magnet, right? The magnet's 28 to 30, 34 dollars when it comes to Chainlink. So Chainlink is still holding that week, that that daily breakout wedge. Remember, it's already had the initial pump. So the next pump, you are taking profits. Very important. So remember, things like curve, you're buying here, so you could hold it for the entire bull market, right? Things that that are already halfway that you're buying now, you're TPing on the next strong push up. Very simple, because there will be some sort of uh, flush out after that at some point. So uh, Chainlink is looking good. Let's go through a couple of uh, memes while I go through the list over here and find the next token. So Pepe obviously ripping. Um, ah, guys, this thing's crazy. <laughs> um it's pretty hard it's pretty hard to project where these things are going to go um again you got a bit of momentum so you can obviously track the momentum lines um but again when i see anything making me this much money you know i'm starting to <clears throat> to ladder out slightly um it could go another 2x from here but realistically you've definitely missed this one um looking really good at the moment but uh, for me not even fibs are going to help right now so i could only just track momentum that's all i can do on this token and that's where it gets crazy um but uh, so far looking good i don't see any big so what you want to pay attention to with these meme coins is wait for the big uh you know uh reversal candle so when you see a previous pump, so let's quickly go through this because it's very important. When you see like a, a pump up, right? And you see a token and you see this like pin bar candle where it shoots up green and then it gets sold into and it forms a red candle, usually indicates a reversal. So right now when your coins are pushing and here's another example over here, there's that one candle. If you see it over there, I'll just zoom in slightly. That one over there, you see how it forms that pin bar. So you're going to have to sort of wait for things like this if you're holding on to these tokens to see that if you see a long green and then it gets pulled completely red, you know, that can indicate a, a high time reversal. And that's where I'd definitely be ready for, for TPing up. So pay attention to those little things. Um, I'm seeing uh, uh, Cardano. There we go. We got Cardano beautifully. Cardano season also waking up. So uh, shout out old coins. Um, Looking good. This should be the rally up to 1.2. So it's nice to see Cardano, you know, making its way back. We obviously spoke about Gala, which is exploding. So Gala looking good. And it's not even the real pump on Gala yet. The real pump starts above the, the six to the seven cent mark. So Gala, we still nailed it. Uh, let's speak about Doge, guys. So Doge broke the top range of 16. We have another one at 20. 
if we get through 20 and then we're going back to 35. So I would hold and protect my, my entries over here. Again, I'm very long at the moment when it comes to, to Doge. Not too much, um, but I am loaded up pretty strong around $300,000 long at the moment on Doge. Um, and I'm writing this, you know, for now, I've got such a beautiful entry. You know, I can hold these things for a little bit longer now. Um, and uh, I'm looking at hopefully this account doubling. So that's my goal here to double Phantom, double Doge, you know, make a million dollars um, on a, it started on a $60,000 account. So that, that will be uh, insane for me. So Doge is definitely looking like the strong ones. One of my next calls for the month is uh, it's also comes into play with Phantom. And I've been obviously speaking about it for a long time. Uh, is Gallup. So Scallop, again, the only reason I'm reminding you again of this is because it's finally broken out the range. I don't see resistance here. And I'm seeing my targets of $1 to $1.3 being the next. Uh, so Scallop is still one of the, the top ones for me. Um, let's speak about a dot breakout. Dot's very near a breakout. It does need to close. You know, I would say if it weekly closes above $10 this week, the real push should start. And that would start getting up to its areas of uh, 17 bucks. So remember, a lot of these tokens are at resistance, which means two things. It means the breakout can happen any moment. So I'd get in some sort of capital and there can also be a quick rejection, which means be ready for 10, 20% buy up uh, before it does break the range. If that happens, worst scenario is it explodes through and you've got some money in and then what will happen is it'll form a flag and then break again. So you'll have another time to add some more. So that's why for me, we're at that sort of point with the market speeding up. You may not get the pullbacks after 100% push first uh, on these tokens. Uh, obviously, Aave, all of these tokens that haven't broken ranges yet, I'm interested in. You know, they're the ones that are really starting to, to push hard. Let's speak about Dog with Hat. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, interesting. Very interesting. So with these ones, I'd be going down to like four-hour charts, eight-hour charts. you got to sort of track the, the, the momentum, and that is literally your momentum. So ride it for as long as it rides that trend line. Moment starts losing that trend line. You can see there's a little bit of rejection here at the moment um, on the eight hour. Um, and remember, when Bitcoin pulls back, may it be before all time high, these things are going to shit bricks. I'm going to be very honest here. These things are going to come down hard, guys. When, when Bitcoin finally does that, may it be after all time high or just before now, when it does that, that's that 30% quick pullback. I wouldn't be surprised to see 60% wick drops on these on these things. I won't. Like that would be a time to add some more. So just understand, you're making tons of money with memes. But when they come down, they come down really hard. Um, guys, while I get into the next coins, you can see in the top right here, we do have Commonwealth, uh, new sponsors of the channel. So shout out to them. I want you to follow Commonwealth on Twitter as uh, this is one sponsor that excites me a lot. Reason being is, you know, this is for the little guys, which is incredible. So guys, when you want to get into early projects and things like that, it's not really possible for a normal user. So I want to show you this over here. Uh, let's just go through over here. So something called uh, Commonwealth, the world's first free VC fund. So guys, there's three stages when it comes to getting into a token. You've got the VC stage, you've got the early access or early entry stage, and then you've got the IDO stage. You know IDOs, we we'll always speak about IDOs. This is very hard for normal people to be getting into. So what these guys have done is they've been able to get a certain amount of people within the ecosystem into these early uh, VC entries within these tokens. And I want to show you guys this. If you go look straight below in the description, guys, this is incredible. This means you can have access to very, very early entries within uh, these projects. Uh, again, these are obviously entries that can do insane gains. Um, but what you got to do is you got to go below. And uh, you can see that they've basically got this $2.4 million airdrop that's incoming, right? Let's just quickly reload this. Over here, so I can show you. Maybe people are piling in here and breaking the site. Let's see. <laughs> show this over here, but there we go. So what they're doing is they do have in the next nine days this big drop that's incoming within these tokens. So what you do is you click on the link below. It's $2.5 million, right? Click on the link, and you start farming these XP. And these XP, you can give you a slice of the $10,000 airdrop that is incoming over here. So you can click on this over here and you can follow the actual steps. Um, and you can see over here, here's all the details. So you can see the details of the, the $2.4 million airdrop that's incoming. Remember, guys, you never have access to these things. This is a project that gives you access to these things over here. And if you look at the bottom over here, this is the project distribution of all the different tokens that it's getting into over here, all the different categories as in the gaming and all the different things over here. So guys, this is your opportunity. You can see all the percentages over here. This is your opportunity to finally get into early access within tokens. I believe in these guys a lot. Um, and uh, I think what they're doing is 
absolutely incredible. And I want the small guys to get the benefits of these things as well. This is why I'm bringing this to you guys. So if you go below over here, you can see there's nine days left over here. There's a couple of tiers. And um, so the amount of XP points. So there'll be a couple of things. Follow them here. There's a couple of tasks for you to do in order to get these XP points. I would not sit off this thing for the next nine days and get as many XP points as you can, as there are a couple of tiers. The first tier is 10 people are getting $10,000 slices within these which you don't want to know what will even, uh, you know, end up becoming. Um, and then you've got tier two, 5K slices, 55K. And then you've got tier three, 1,000, 1,000 slices. So guys, this is massive over here. And then tier four, there's an airdrop that's incoming as well of the actual token itself. Um, so really amazing. And I actually want to see here too, there was uh, the... I just want to see where I found it. But you'll find it here as well on the tokens that they're actually investing in themselves. So you'll see, there we go. So if you have a look, there's $2.4 million. There's all of the projects. Just wait for this to load up again. Dun, 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 dun. But you'll find all of the projects that it's actually going to. So guys, again, for me, I want you to be rich as hell. I believe in these guys. And uh, I, I love that it's the small guys that are getting uh, involved in over here. And we do have a quick video for you guys over here. It's random man's in two um over here and uh here we go quick video and then i'm dropping back to the old coin there's no other project in crypto like this at all i've never seen an opportunity like this for normal retail investors to get into projects of this caliber like i just don't think it exists it's the first time ever a venture capital fund is going to be given away for free really some of the best vcs in the space have invested in all these projects these are very strong teams that i've been building for multiple years the projects are really insane i haven't seen anything like this nobody leaves empty-handed so if you complete the minimum tasks you get on the leaderboard for the campaign you will be given a reward what is the catch like what are these tasks that people have to do on the app it can be across socials, join socials, promote some key tweets from a project, try what the DAP is, whether it's a game or like a middleware. It's an unreal feeling having this all come to fruition now. It was, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been a lot of work. You're getting emotional, Carl. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Who knows how big this could go. Alrighty, guys. So you can obviously see a lot of big names there. So I want to bring that to you guys as there's nine days left. And I want to, everyone to get whatever they can. Like that, that's the, the biggest goal. You just got to, you know, what's nice about crypto. It gives a lot of free things. You just got to yeah. commit, you know, you just got to yeah. commit. You got to commit for, for a little while. The link is straight in the description, guys. If you go below in the show, you'll find the link. And again, you'll find all of the different stuff as well on their Twitter. So go follow them on Twitter. So let's put them in over here. Yeah, gets you to join, but everything, use the link below, guys, as uh, the link for me gets you uh, a, a good percentage as well. So if you have a look at my specific referral link, that's below, that's where you get the massive benefits. But here we go. So go follow them, um, up to 50K, 1,000 subs, doing very well. So that, I wanted to bring that to you guys. Um, okay, let's look at a few other. We obviously spoke about 1,000 rats, which is waking up. So another meme coin on Bitcoin, right? It's another big one. If this thing breaks the ranges and maybe goes into the all-time highs, right? This could be another little early one. So nice little uh, uh, play as well, well uh, over there. If you're looking at uh, something like that. Uh, one of the next tokens, guys, I'm waiting for this, this wedge break over here is uh, ICP. So if this finally breaks this wedge over here, this will get us to areas of up to $30 to $40 on ICP. So guys, remember, a lot of these tokens are going to be trades. You have to make money. Very simple. Um, and stick to that. Um, here's XRP about to break those possible highs. Still looking at a dollar when it comes to XRP. Um, the big one for me, guys, that I'll be paying attention to is Cosmos. When this breaks this weekly high over here, you know, you're looking at, uh, you know, 18 to $20 in Cosmos, but I'll be looking at the ecosystem tokens too um, and things like that. So Cosmos is looking good. Someone asked me about Theta. Theta is still looking amazing. And what I'll do tomorrow, guys, is I'll jump on for you guys and uh, go through a lot of your alts again. I'm going to be honest with what we're going to sell or what I'm going to sell personally. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, bring me some more gems. Do me a favor. Go find me some meme coins on Phantom today or some good projects on Phantom. Finding... Um, uh cosmos find these bring this to us guys try let's get early entries for the entire community uh good projects good levels not just crappy things that are going to just pump up um let's work together and let's do something amazing so guys have a fantastic day hit that like button for altcoins and i'll see you all tomorrow much love mm -hmm.